One of the mysteries is, uh, it's been around for a long time, is why uh, guitars sound different, uh, even when they're geometrically identical. There's been, there's been quite a lot of scientific research about the effect of particular variables, say the strut position or the, the, um, the soundboard stiffness or maybe uh, variables of that kind on, on the sound. But even if you make identical instruments, then eventually they sound different. And that has to be, in the end, attributable to what's going on inside uh, the material. And I, I've talked to Rob Armstrong before about this, and uh, I think he's, he's said even if you make a number of instruments from wood from the same tree, you get different sounds from a number of them. And, and that presents problems for the luthier who can adapt what they're doing. But in mass production, it, it produces ever more problems because if you're doing the same thing and the material properties are, are, are altering the sound, then, then there are issues. actually sound like wood and that's all we've got to compare it to I mean I've been playing wooden guitars pretty much all my professional life apart from uh, a period when I was using a carbon graphite guitar but that had a kind of different sound so you're always using your standard handmade guitars as a yardstick you think how does it compare with this guitar or that guitar or any other guitar that I've played and certainly the hybrid sounds as good as anything I've ever played. The materials we use to produce cool acoustics instruments are quite different to the synthetic materials used in the past to produce um, non-wood instruments. In the past, a lot of people have used glass fibre and particularly carbon fibre recently to create a very stiff, inherently stiff material. Our approach, guided by Rob, was really not to go down that route, but was to produce material which has, um, which is, has an aerated structure, so it has a bubbled or a cellular structure. This produces quite a different kind of material. This is an expanded polycarbonate soundboard um, that we use. It's the material we're using at the moment. And you see I can, I can flex it in all directions, unlike a piece of wood. What we're trying to do with the, with, the, with the polymer guitar is to take something that's made out of plastic and make it sound like a traditional wooden instrument. And I believe we've done it. Well, using this polymer guitar was interesting for me because one is always comparing that with a traditional wooden instrument and I think it worked as far as I'm concerned and I, I did forget when I was playing it in the recording situation and at the concert that in actual fact was made out of polymer. To me it was a wooden guitar and I approached it in that way. Well the opportunity of making uh any sort of progress into the world of mass production from my point of view is always is going to be very interesting because I just make single one-off instruments and uh, plastic uh, materials opens the possibility of designing an instrument which can then be mass produced. The RA1 guitar made by Rob Armstrong is a hybrid guitar so it has a cool acoustic soundboard fitted to what's essentially a wooden guitar body um, which is a fairly straightforward use of cool acoustics technology. When you take the cool acoustics technology to extremes and produce an all polymer guitar, which is one of the things we've done at Cool Acoustics, um, it opens up all sorts of design opportunities uh, and, and changes really revolutionises the way you create instruments. So this is the Frankfurt Show 2002 instrument. I'm just running through the individual components of this instrument. We have uh, a foamed expanded polycarbonate soundboard uh, onto which we also have polymer bracings fitted underneath. Uh, the bridge is a recycled acrylic. The saddle is a tusk composite saddle. And the fretboard itself is also a polyurethane moulding. The back the back is actually a one-piece moulding which also combines the sides of the instrument, the neck and also the headstock all in one component and that's a foamed polyurethane uh, moulding. If you can actually control uh, the material uh, better, 
or if you can establish what better is in this context and, and, and adapt and develop the materials or synthetic materials, uh, then you stand a chance of actually um, enhancing the performance of guitars or, or um, perhaps uh, bringing out characteristics that particular guitarists would prefer for particular styles or for particular circumstances. So the, it, it opens up you know, new opportunities, new, uh, new possibilities, uh, looking at the actual internal structure of the materials and what, uh, uh, what, what effect that has on the sound quality. The materials that we have uh, been using so far seem to be immensely uh, perfect for the job. They respond um, to the notes, the music sound waves, they create the sustain. As a guitar maker, I find that even just choosing natural material is, uh, you do make a choice between one piece of wood and another. And in the process of making an individual guitar, you can take the characteristics of that piece of wood into account while you're making it and make it uh, make small changes to thickness and where you put the struts and uh, how you actually construct it. But that is by uh, having a material which even to me, natural material already has variations that I have to uh, cope with. And with a plastic material, that would eliminate those variations. The main thing will, will have to be when we are at the point of creating our, the, our own material rather than buying uh, ready-made material. Well, the future for this guitar and this project and the material I think is very important. But from my point of view, as a musician, is what does it sound like? You know, if we can actually incorporate this material and make an instrument or instruments and they sound like the traditional wooden ones because that's our only yardstick, then we've won. It works. One of the hopes is that a commercial manufacturer, um, and that could be one of the big brands in the marketplace now, or, or possibly a, a, someone who's never been in the guitar market before, but is a, a polymer expert and have the capability to actually make uh, polymer instruments, could come in and could uh, think about uh, producing the instruments in quantity. The future for cool acoustics technology is very bright. Manufacturers now are, are looking very seriously at alternative materials. Um, they face something of a shortage of, of good quality tone woods um, in the future. In the near future, in fact, four or five years, it's been predicted that there will be shortages. So it's, it's really quite a pressing issue. And we do believe that we have a very, very strong um, technology. Almost, if you like, the, the, the polymer equivalent of spruce is one way of looking at it. We really think it's, it's, a, it's a way of producing excellent quality guitars uh, and changing the way, in fact, that you create guitars to simplify the manufacture and also as a way of competing in a Western manufacture against low-cost, high-labour um, guitar manufacturer in the Far East. <laughs>